All right, guys, we got some sweet news. We're gonna take the Maverick R to Moab. So stay tuned for that. All around car. So the car, if money wasn't an option, people would choose. Number one choice on the list. Pro R4. Yeah. So it's a great car. It's just, it's an easy car to jump in, get in and love. Um, there's no need to get used to it. It doesn't take a mile or five. Tied, it's tied at third choice is the Maverick and the Pro R2. Tied okay. at third choice. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Uh, number four, tied for fifth choice, is the X3. Tied for sixth choice is the Turbo R and the Turbo S. And then continuing our normal thing, it's the YXC is last. But I mean, 20 grand versus 45, what do you think? You, right. It's not a question. For what I paid for my YXC, I could literally buy three. If I, for this price, I could buy three of my YXCs yeah. for what I paid. Let's all buy YXCs tomorrow. So. Yeah, both says Josh's runs better, so we'll see. Oh, snap. Just go run them then. Yeah, yeah. Snap. Yours should be, well, your should be lighter, so it should be faster. It should be just a, just like half a car length. Do you take Do you take your tire off? No, I'm going to leave the tire on. It's, oh, okay. it's too heavy to take it off. <laughs> Plus, I need excuses. Why would I unbolt my excuse? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this guy's a professional race car driver. He won the entire 2022 oh, no. season at Desert SXS. <laughs> Mac track. Yes, he did. <laughs> Boom. They gave him a free spring <laughs> and, a, and some money too. Huh? Some money in there. I was gonna. I was looking at the spring this morning in my garage, and I was looking at a chain. I was like, I'm gonna take some padlocks on the padlock chain to the spring. I'm gonna wear as a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's hear it. Drum roll. So overall, number one, overall score. So number one with a score of 82. Uh, 82 even is the Maverick car. <gasps> Maverick car. Nice piece. What a nice car. Actually, it really is. I was surprised that it got first because a lot of people were giving that Pro R a lot of love and just the ease of it. But then, man, that power is just... Just it, to reiterate, if, if money was not an option, you know, this is... Number one. No, no, no. This that was final. the overall win. Oh, oh, overall win. This is stats. These are numbers. Okay. Factual overall. and opinion based. Yeah. Factual. <laughs> the biggest reason is the power. The power delivery won out in categories, which is what elevated just above the Pro R. At the end of the day, I, it's it's hard to speak. It's hard to not weight those things over it, but uh, yeah. that's what ended up doing. So stock to stock, this is the winner. Stock. Everyone uh, wants the fastest car. That's all there is to it. Pretty much. Number two on the list with a <laughs> with a seventy six point seven one is the Pro R four seat. Ooh, a Pro R, but in a four seat. But in a four seat, and not sh and very very minimally behind that, the seventy six point oh seven was the two seat. Just the two seat version. So yes. Pro R, Pro R. Okay. Where did the Funko line up? The fun It's weird. Um, <laughs> the Funko didn't show there's up. There's like this. Dang it. There's this ghost category. Uh, number four on the list with a seventy point five seven. Is the Canon X3 through RR? Ooh! Once again, wow. elevated because of power and because yeah. of the quantitative testing that we did on that. Um, that's what really boosted it above the Turbo S and the Turbo R. Well, it gets second in a drag race. It second kinda, in the dyno. Yeah. Um, really good score on pricing, um, which also hurt the Can Ams and the Maverick R and the Pro Rs. Excuse me. Um, that's what lowered their score a lot was the fact that pricing. the price was so high. Yeah. Well, YXZ gets a win on price because... Yep. Great equalizer. That's what we call yep. it. Great yeah. equalizer. If you're paying more money, the car should perform better, period. That's yep. the way we do it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. At least that's the way I do it. Uh, number five on the list with a 68.36, uh, the Turbo R. Just barely necking it out. The Turbo R did pretty good. That's right. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then, and this is why I say just necking it out with a 68.21. So... 10. Hardly anything. Hardly anything. Yeah. Turbo S. That's okay. The Turbo S is still faster than him. <laughs> <laughs> Did beat it on the drag. So. Yes. Um, and then with a 54.36 is the YXC. So. Ooh, the yeah, fall drop, that. but. Yeah. I think what you learn with all these numbers and what we did here is that we were pretty hard. Very minimal tens were given out. We were pretty, yeah. pretty difficult and pretty unbiased I would say. I, I would 100% agree with the way that you kind of put the numbers together of how the car stacked up. 
Now, prior to the test, I would have thought that I would have been Pro R, Turbo R, you know, uh, Maverick R, and then X3. Just you were really excited to drive the Turbo R, and then you drove it and were less excited. Right. So, I mean, it, sorry, I was less excited after that. <laughs> so, I don't, I'm not going to disagree okay. with you here. It's just, it's just where the numbers fell, I thought would be different. Let's just put it that yeah. way. I the funny the thing is, a lot of people have loved the Turbo R. The Turbo R has a lot of love these days. Yeah. And it's we're like just car. crapping on that car as if it sucks. It does. And I don't suck. know why. It's an amazing car, you know, but when you put it in the numbers, like it does stack up that way for some reason. Well, you are putting it against a Maverick R. You're putting it against a Pro R2, a Pro R4. I mean, I it's feel just, like you just gave me a participation trophy. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I think what you fired, Here, you showed up. In my first game, and I was really excited about the Turbo R. I mean, we've talked about it. I thought it was going to perform a lot better. Great value for, for what you're getting. Yeah. Um, in my mind, it's, I think you're looking at what they, what a lot of people have talked about is they replaced the Turbo S with the Turbo R. They're very, very similar cars yeah. in our testing. I mean, well, and th these are stock cars. I mean, yeah. wake, wake that car up this much and you're going to want that over an X3. And also at the end of the day, there's no perfect car. That's what we really wanted to show is there's no perfect car. For Everybody's everybody. always asking me, what, what should I buy? Like, like you just bought the Maverick R, you had the Pro R, should I go buy a Maverick R? Not everybody should do that. Yeah. They really shouldn't. Not everybody should. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad idea because I think it's a great car. <laughs> but. If you're a Can-Am guy, you'll love the Maverick R. Absolutely. But if you didn't like the X3, I really don't believe you're gonna like the Maverick R. I really don't. Is it a better performer than the X3? Yes, but it still handles, drives, a lot of similar categories like in every spectrum. It just corners better, it's faster, and it has a DCT now. Like, don't lose your mind over a Maverick R, but it, I do feel like it's the better car out there now. So based off of our test though, my recommendation is if you're gonna buy a Maverick R, I would wait for the Maverick R4. Yeah, it's pretty squirrely. Yeah. yeah I lied. Well, it was a good time, right? Yeah, oh, we awesome. had a great, time. a great time. Just testing every different car. Yeah. It was good to get back in a Turbo S to be honest and see, okay, have I spent a lot of money to really not be any more impressed? You know what I mean? And it was really tough. Like I'd have a hard time today deciding if I was buying a brand new car, if I just go buy a Turbo S and save my money, or go buy one of these expensive cars. Because right. you can have so much fun in a Turbo S. Yeah. And you can everybody. have fun, but I mean, think about the suspension though. The suspension, that dynamics is so fantastic. It is amazing. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm at, I guess I'm at Cadillac. I'm at that Cadillac age, you but are. I enjoy that ride. <laughs> yeah. It's comfortable. <laughs> yes. it's, it's, it's there. It's good for a novice like me. I'm curious to see how things end up here. Yeah. I think a lot of people are thinking that the Maverick R isn't as great as it is because none of us are given a lot of credit because the Pro R2 or the Pro R4 is so great. It's so good. And yeah. so many people have now, there's so much aftermarket out there now. I mean, you can throw a supercharger on your Pro R now, Chad, and yeah. now you're faster than my Maverick R stock. Yeah. But I look at it as, well, I can probably do a light tune and potentially be just as fast as you. Yeah. Without having to throw a supercharger yeah. or a turbo to it. Yeah. yeah. But with that much power, you're not going to use it all. Hardly ever. At the dunes. Yeah. Maybe up choke or, We love the know. dunes. I'm so. excited to see what this thing does at the dunes. Yeah, we are So too. we do need some wheels for this thing. So reach out to us. I need some wheels. I got paddles. I just need wheels. All right, guys. I know you guys are extremely frustrated. You got to understand I'm just as frustrated. I had multiple videos made for the shootout, and I had to re-edit and rechange everything. I'm sorry when my best friend says, dude, I don't want my car in the shootout. It's my channel. It's his car. My hands are tied. <laughs> I'm not going to betray my friend over some YouTube views. I'm sorry. So we just won't do the content anymore with that car. It's just not a big deal because we got seven other cars. But the cool thing is, is supposedly my time's, my 521 is going to be beat by 30 seconds. So Robbie Gordon's calling me out and saying he can beat me by 30 seconds. So we'll see if he comes out and does it, but we'll see. At the end of the day, I just don't like drama. I just want to have fun and ride side by sides. That's why we have all these different brands on here, you know, like, this wasn't a bash on one brand to another brand. This was just out here to have fun and give some personal opinions of what we thought about a car. So if you like fun, great. Stay tuned to the channel. Thanks. Thanks for watching.